Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a small HHO dry cell. Let's get started. So this is a HHO dry cell. I ordered this on eBay. It was around 50 bucks, which I think is a pretty good deal when you see how much gas it produces. And it has stainless steel plates, and it usually runs on 12 volts, but I'm going to be using less sodium hydroxide so it doesn't corrode anything else in the system. So we'll be bumping it up to 48 volts. Next we have our 48 volt battery. I've got it com continuously charging so it doesn't destroy the batteries, even though I'm using them because they're they're mostly destroyed. And we got four 5 amp power lead acids in series hooked up to a meter so we can see what's going on. Make sure we're not pulling like 50 kilowatts or something like that. Not that these could supply that, but yeah. Now we have our circulation pump right here, and this is like three bucks. Also got this off eBay, and. This is going to be our reservoir. Of course, this is very temporary, and I just threw it together really quick because I wanted to make some hydrogen. Next, we have our sodium hydroxide. And if you can see the brand there, just look for uh, anything that has sodium hydroxide in it, or preferably uh, solid sodium hydroxide so you can measure it out. But this is the stuff I pour into water to make it a lot more conductive so it makes a lot more gas so let's start building it so usually the hydrogen generators come with rather large fittings on them so you can't use a normal 3 8 inch tube so I, I usually use a lighter and I heat up the end of the tube then I put it over the tip and that makes it stick a lot better and opens it up as you can see here next we're going to put the reservoir on top but before we do it I'm going to put a brick in between right here so it gives the reservoir some space and now we can't just hook these together so we're going to be putting the circulation pump in right here we want to make sure the pump is pumping through the hydrogen generator not sucking out and pushing it into here because then it's just sucking bubbles you want it pushing just non bubbly water through and the bubbles will come out basically like jet engine you put the fuel in and you put the air in it takes up more space when it combusts like it expands the same is happening here but not with gas it's just happening with water so you got w just water coming in and then water plus hydrogen and oxygen coming out and it's enough that you want the circulation pump in that way so now we have our brick on top and we're just going to put the connectors together and we will fill it with water and the water will hold this down because right now it's just up and then we will connect the pump to this homemade lithium 12 volt battery and that will run the pump keep it keep the circulation going and then we will hook this right here onto these and then we'll connect it to the 51 volts and we have the on off switch here Now it's time to make some hydrogen, so we're going to put in our lye, and we're going to put in very little bit right here, just like a few drops. Like that right there is enough, and then we mix it the rest of water. And be careful because when you mix water and lye, it tends to get very hot, so we need to pour in a lot of water fast. And you should fill the water up to the top so we don't have any space for hydrogen gas to collect and possibly explode if something goes wrong. So let's see if this works. We've got our switch here and let's see if the how many watts it draws. Okay, we got a connection error, so we're going to fix the connection right here. 
that one. So let's see if this works. Oh yeah, 300 watts. So we're gonna need to add a little bit more lie because 300 watts is not that much for this setup. And I want more like a kilowatt. But as you can see, it produces hydrogen. You can see all the bubbles running out there. So let's put in a little bit more lye. And of course, the more lye you put in, the more heat the system will produce. So you'll have to use it less often. Let's see what it's at now. Oh yeah, 500. Uh, there we go, we're at 1,000 watts. Perfect. Test again. Okay, 1.1 kilowatts. And as you can see, it's producing a lot more bubbles. Yeah. Tons. It's already starting to get warm, so we gotta be careful. And of course, I should put a radiator in between here. Problem is, I can't find any radiators that aren't aluminum, and I don't wanna use a copper one, since copper isn't really resistant to much. So basically, this will eat through any radiator I put there. So I need a steel radiator, if anything. Now for our cap, and it just has a small hole drilled in it, connected to a hose. And that is connected to the long hose that was in my front yard that we tested with the uh, hydrogen going through it in my last video. So if you want to see hydrogen explode in a really, really long hose and go through the whole hose, light up, lighting up my entire yard, go check out my last video. I know you guys want to see how many liters per minute it produces, but I don't have a good way of doing it, so I'm just going to use this plastic bag so you guys can see how much hydrogen it's producing. Put the whole bag in my hand. Ready? Three, two, one. That's after like maybe 10 seconds. And we have already, I'd say that is 400 milliliters gas. So I'm gonna say it produces maybe three to four liters per minute, which is pretty good. So let's go set this off. Of course, this is way too big to set off anywhere near here. So I'm gonna let some of the gas out and we can put it in my safe. So there's how much we'll do it, and then we're going to attach a fuse to it, and we'll set it off. Cut a little bit of fuse off, since I don't want it to explode in my hand. And this is 3 seconds per inch fuse, so super duper slow. And I've got a brick here to put right on top of the safe, so we don't... If you want to see more hydrogen experiments, just comment them and I'll see what I can do. I hope you liked it. I'll see you guys next time.